Hi, Taurus. It is um, Tuesday, August 30th. Let's see what's in your energy today, Taurus. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands, the Three of Wands. You're waiting for something. The Hierophant, that's your energy, Taurus. Energy, the Hierophant. Let's see. What does Taurus need to know? Queen of Cups is here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Page of Wands. What you're waiting for here is messages. I'm seeing communication coming in. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Six of Coins. Strength, Leo energy. You have the Empress, that's you, Taurus. And you have the Nine of Cups. You have, a, you have a wish fulfillment coming in. There's some type of communication that you're waiting to come in. And um, I'm seeing this communication coming in. So let's see what's going on, Taurus. Why is strength here? We have the King of Wands again. Communication, flipped out, reverse. This is delayed. But someone's going to take a leap of faith. You may be dealing with an Aries here. Whoever this person is, Pisces, I mean not Pisces, this may be a Pisces, that might be why I said that, but Taurus, this person is going to take a leap of faith and um, communicate with you. Someone where there's, I, I'm seeing someone here that could be at a distance from you actually and I'm not sure who this person is to you but someone is getting ready to take a leap of faith here because this is someone showing up as the king of wands also someone who doesn't easily take no for an answer they go after what they want why is the six of coins here the ten of cups this person um, showing up like they they're wanting equal give and take with you they want this happy home they want to have everything with you why is this two of pentacles here but I feel like this person's juggling a couple different things at the same time right now but they do feel connected to you Let me find out more. Why is this King of Wands here? The Wheel of Fortune. So this could be someone who's coming back into your life. Why is the Hierophant here? Someone coming back around again. The High Priestess. This might be a Pisces after all. Um, he, Your intuition is very strong when it comes to this person. They've been closed off. But whatever your intuition is telling you here, you're absolutely correct. They want this Ace of Pentacles. They want this new beginning with you. This is someone, I'm seeing someone here in your energy that is sending you a message. For some of you, this has already happened. What is this communication about? The Ace of Swords here, this is communication. 
from someone here. Um, there's love between the two of you, the two of cups. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure that was still recording. Energetically, you're looking at each other here. There's a lot of love between the two of you. But for some reason, there's this defensive energy here with the Seven of Wands. It's like someone's very defensive about some type of truth. Four of Cups. This person's bored with feeling defensive and guarded. They're wanting to let something go. Why is the Page of Wands here? This Page of Wands, this is a messenger. This person is wanting to offer you this cup of love. They're making a decision here. Showing up right in the center of your reading. This may be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But someone's making a decision to send a message to you. Why is the King of Swords here? Five of Swords. This person wants to fight for this. They haven't let this go. This person loves you. The Sun. They're wanting to heal this connection. The, the Sun is also illuminating some type of Guarded defensive energy. The sun is coming in to heal this. Why is the sun here? You may be dealing with a Leo with the sun showing up. The Empress. This person sees you as their happiness, Taurus. The lovers is here. They're making a choice. This is Gemini energy. Yeah, this is someone that truly loves you that is showing up in your reading. Why are the lovers here? The Seven of Cups, the Six of Pentacles. This is someone who chose a new direction and this new direction that they have chosen um has brought them a lot of disappointment here and they're not happy where they are right now this is someone that you love that you care about why is the queen of cups here the star Healing, healing. This person wants to heal this connection. This is Aquarius energy, the star. Nine of Cups. There's literally someone here in your reading that sees you as a wish fulfillment. And they want this reunion with the Three of Cups. I keep getting these messages over and over and over again in this reading tour. Someone here just really wants to give to this connection, heal this connection. Why is the Hierophant here? Justice. This could have been a marriage. This could be a marriage. Six of Swords. And this person is in um, choppy water. They're in a bad position. They're not happy where they're at. They're wanting to move back to where all of their investment is. 
where their heart is. They planted a lot of seeds with you. They're, um, they're literally traveling back to what they planted here with you, what the two of you have had going. And this is someone where there could be distance between the two of you. Why is the Three of Wands here? See, judgment is bringing this connection back around again. Two of Wands. I'm seeing this person going from the Two of Wands, from, from where they've been standing at a crossroads, not making a choice whether to go backwards or forwards. And with the Three of Wands, they're actually getting ready to take some steps forward and send you messages. This is someone who's moving backwards. They're wanting to go back to this commitment and what they've invested in. And I see travel messages. Why is the Eight of Wands here? You may be dealing with an Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be a father figure. We have the Emperor and the Empress here. This could, I'm seeing a marriage here. Why is the Queen of Swords here? The Five of Cups. Who is the Queen of Swords here? The Hanging Man. This could be Pisces. This person's in a stuck position because they keep Focusing on what was lost with you. This person's not able to move forward. They're in a stuck position. And again, we have Pisces energy here. It doesn't, I feel like this person probably has Pisces somewhere in their chart. Why is the hangman here? They're looking at how they could have done things differently, what they should have said. They're holding on too tightly not letting go of this connection this person wishes they would have said the words that they should have said well they had the time to do it but they held back why is the four of pentacles here death you may be dealing with a Scorpio, but something here is not over. Someone has not let this go. We have death showing up in reverse. And we have strength here. Leo energy again. It's very difficult for this person. They cannot let you go. And I'm, again, I'm seeing like a marriage or some type of a commitment, someone you shared a home with, with the Four of Wands. You could have a child with this person, or there could be a child here. This person's wish fulfillment is you. Empress is Taurus energy. Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. And I'm seeing a message coming in here. With the page of coins there could be an age difference why is the nine of cups here someone has not let go of you they're very very attracted to you this person walked away and cancer energy is here they're coming back around again but i mean this is someone who's trying to get control i i'm actually seeing someone who is in the process of trying to figure out what what words to use 
Because I feel like words are not enough. This person feels like their words are not enough. Why is the chariot here? This is internet messages, text messages coming in. When this person messages you, if this is someone that you want to be with, Taurus, um, I feel like things will move very quickly between the two of you because there's a lot of attraction here in this energy. Why is the Empress here? There's a conflict here with other people. Someone else may have gotten involved in this connection. But this is Four of Wands. This is um, a connection where, where there's these people involved. But I feel like no one should be getting in between the two of you. This is the Six of Cups here. This is someone that you've known for quite a while. This is not a new energy coming towards you here. This is some type of a reconciliation where something's not over yet. And I see it starting, beginning again. There's a rebirth. We have death and the Ace of Cups. The Two of Cups. Whoever this reading's for, the two of you are meant to be together. I feel like this person's coming to you in a changed way. This person's going to look different. Their appearance is going to be different. Their energy is going to be different. They're ready to invest in the connection between the two of you. This person is coming to you with sincere energy here. This person's coming to you with truth. Mature man. There could be an age difference. Why is mature man here? High honor. This person's energy has matured. And um, they're, they're wanting to... Let me make sure. Sorry, you guys. I have to keep checking to make sure I'm still recording because this computer, this laptop likes to shut off. Um, this person wants to show up with honor. They want to come to you right. Why is the Six of Cups here? Now we have main male. I'm seeing someone coming to you right. This person's focus is completely on you right now. They're thinking about you. And they could be at a distance from you with distant horizons showing up here. feel like we have sudden wealth here so um there could be some unexpected money or sudden sudden wealth could have something to do with a house for someone but i'm seeing the lucky number 777 and the number 11 here Okay, let's get you some advice. Take time to breathe out. And that is disseminating, or let me read that. 
yeah, disseminating moon. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that word right. Disseminating moon. Take time to breathe out. New moon in Aries. It's time to take action. Nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. There's a particular situation that you're in right now, which could be in separation with someone that you're supposed to be with. Um, and it's saying nothing will come of this situation. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. And this is a general reading. So take what resonates, leave the rest. On the bottom of the deck, you have meditate and contemplate new moon and Pisces. But I'm seeing a past energy for whoever this particular reading is for um, that wants to come and reconcile with you. In their mind, they can't let this go. In their mind, this is not over. This is someone crying over what they've lost. There's still love here. The Two of Cups is still behind this person. So there's still love between the two of you. Okay. Let me see what shows up here with the Angel Answer cards. What does Taurus need to know? about this connection. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. There could have been deception that took place here. This is what could have ended this connection. And flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. I see two people walking away together, getting some time alone together here. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So for some of you, like I said, this is a general reading. For some of you, this person is wearing a false mask. Or was wearing a false mask. And then we have, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. There may be some type of difference between the two of you. Age difference, nationality difference. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of, the, of holiday time together. But I see you guys coming back together again in this reading. I'm seeing a happy ending. I'm seeing forgiving, forgiving and learning. What does Taurus need to know about this person? What does Taurus need to know about this connection? Someone may be in jail. We have the Five of Cups. They're feeling like this. They're feeling a lot of sadness, a lot of regret over what has been lost in the past with this connection. Um, this person's feeling 
Eight of Swords stuck in their mind. Just continuously thinking about this connection here. And then we have the Knight of Swords here. Why I feel like this person may have said something. They said something. There was a betrayal here. And now this person is stuck in their mind about this. There's an anger here, an argument. But it's coming back together again. This is being coming from the dead. Someone has walked away here, but they still hold this cup of love for you with the King of Cups. They're staying in control of their emotions. This is someone that truly loves you. This is someone that does not want to fight anymore. This person wants to put um, your differences in the past, put them behind you. Okay, Taurus, so these are the messages that came out for you today in your energy. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking and subscribing and all of your support. Um, your donations to the Buy Me the Coffee and everything you guys do for me. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow, Taurus. Namaste.